Hi, and welcome to the T-Scan training tips. I am Jay Cohen, your senior trainer from TechScan. Today, uh, we'll be discussing uh, setting sensitivity. What is it and how to set it? Okay, so T-Scan sensitivity is a very important step in, uh, you wanna think about it as a calibration routine. Um, sensitivity calibrates the sensor to each patient's unique bite force. Uh, and there's two ways to adjust the sensitivity. One is manually by clicking the uh, levels. We have a, a control bar across the bottom of the screen with 14 levels of sensitivity. Um, we, so we click the sensitivity blocks until we get to the right sensitivity. We'll demonstrate that shortly. So you can do it manually or you can do it automatically by clicking the wizard, which is this wand that will open up the sensitivity wizard. And the sensitivity wi wizard will guide you through the process and it will set the sensitivity automatically. You can also set the sensitivity from the T-scan handpiece. We have controls on the handpiece. The, you'll notice the plus and the minus button. Plus button increases sensitivity and the minus button decreases sensitivity. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna jump right into the T-scan software. Okay. Okay, so on the left side of your screen, you see the two dimensional arch or the occlusal surface view. And to the right side, we see the 3D or columnar force view of the occlusal data. So let's start by understanding what exactly the sensitivity is. So the sensitivity sets a range of output between low and high so that each individual patient's uh, forces fall within that range of sensitivity. So let me go ahead and make a, a demonstrate exactly what this does. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bite on the sensor and I have it set right for, let's, let me set this to the medium. So this is a good place to start. You see at the bottom of your screen, there's 14 uh, unique blocks. We're set at medium, we're set at level seven of 14 levels. So we're going to start by looking at the manual process, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm gonna turn the sensitivity, sensitivity way down just to show you cause and effect of sensitivity. And I'm gonna bite on the sensor. Uh, when you place a sensor in a patient's mouth, you just wanna turn it in so that the, um, the position guide, this point is touching between the upper central incisors and you're holding the sensor level with the upper occlusal plane. So I was just biting and I was biting hard and you could see the highest levels were maybe in the blue range of sensitivity. Now I'm gonna to go to the complete opposite end. I'm gonna turn the sensitivity all the way up to high and I'm gonna bite again and we'll see the differences. So if you pay attention mostly to the three dimensional view on the right hand side, that's probably the better view because it allows you to see relative forces better, okay? The important color here is the pink color. We wanna pay attention to the pink. The pink is what we call saturation. So if you see pink tooth contacts, that would suggest that those contacts or those uh, forces on the teeth exceed the pressure range of the sensor. So we wanna set the sensitivity to a level where we see between one and three pinks, because we do wanna use the entire range of the sensor, but we don't want to use too many. So it's kind of, we want to get as, we want to set the sensitivity as high as we can without going over, if you will. All right. So I'm going to go through the process now. I'm going to start at medium and you can see here, I can click on the medium button. So I'm at level seven of 14. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bite again. And we're going to, I'm just going to clench and hold. So you want your patient to hold clenched forcefully. You want to tell them to bite hard and hold and view, you want to visually see it in real time and count the number of pink uh, columns. We want between one and three. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I saw one. I'm going to uh, bring it up a couple more levels. 
And by the way, um, if anybody has questions, uh, you can click, there's a, a Q&A button in your toolbar. You can click that and you can type in um, questions as we go along and uh, we'll do the best we can to ans answer those at the end of the session. Okay, so I just brought the sensitivity up, sensitivity up a couple of levels. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm seeing five pink contacts when I clench. Um, you know, people are machines, uh, not machines. They're not gonna bite with the same force every time they bite. So sometimes they'll close, you'll see one pink. They'll open and close again, you'll see three or four, then you'll see two. So the one to three is an approximation, okay? It gives us kind of a target or a goal. Um, so there's no perfect setting, but again, you wanna find a range that's gonna give us the best relative forces for the entire arch. So. I think I'm gonna go down one more level. I'm gonna bite hard and hold. And I'm seeing three, four, I saw three on the left, one on the right. So I think that's a pretty good level for my bite. Um, so once we establish that, then we're ready to make a recording. Okay, so I wanted to also demonstrate that that's the manual process where the patient clenches, you click on the screen to what level you, you want, and you uh, continue that process until you reach the, uh, the, the, the optimum level that gives you the optimum quality output. Again, there's no perfect setting. The other method is to, uh, you can click on the plus and minus buttons to control the, the uh, to increase and decrease the sensitivity. So we've designed a T-scan so that the uh, recording functionality and the sensitivity controls are on the handpiece so that you can uh, set everything from chair side. You don't have to necessarily reach back to your keyboard and your mouse and click on the screen. Uh, I think with uh, some practice, you're gonna find that's gonna be much easier to do um, than again, interacting with the keyboard and the mouse every time. The other method is using the wizard. So there's a wand here on the right. And if I click the wand, a wizard pops up on my upper left-hand corner and it basically has the instructions. So it says uh, step one of three. The truth is there are really only two steps. The third step is really just a, uh, a confirmation if you've done it correctly or not. So uh, step number one tells you to have the patient bite two to three times to condition the sensor in the patient. So this is the, this is the opportunity to have the patient practice their bite, get acclimated to the sensor, get comfortable biting, right? This, uh, the T-scan sensor is not a natural thing to bite on, right? So it, it takes a few bites. And oftentimes you'll see the very first bite They'll bite, you'll see like light contact on the anterior teeth. And then you'll see, um, you ask them to open and close again. But if you see they're biting and clenching on their front teeth, which is kind of common, ask them to bite on their back teeth. And then you'll see a completely different profile. So we want to kind of create a profile where you're seeing all of the teeth touching around the entire arch. Um, and they're even and they're, re they're repeatable. So when you start to see a reproducible bite and the patient gets more acclimated and more comfortable and you see a more natural reproducible bite, that's what we're aiming for. The sensitivity wizard says two to three bites, but in, in truth, I think it's probably gonna take more like four to six bites before you get the patient to where you need to get them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna uh, follow the uh, wizard. I'm gonna bite a couple of times. And you see, I, each time I bite, I start to see a reproducible bite. <laughs> now I know we're getting a reproducible bite from the patient. I'm gonna click next, and then I'm gonna bite one time. And this is really important. When the patient bites on, the, uh, on step two, they have to bite quickly. They have to bite together because the, the sensitivity wizard will not wait. It, it waits about one second, and then it sets a sensitivity. So if the patient is biting slowly as they're closing together, and before they get to their maximum force, the sensitivity uh, wizard might set it prematurely. So you'll get a, a much higher setting than normal because you have to, the sensitivity won't, uh, wizard will not wait for the patient to get to their full force. Okay, they, again, you get a window of about one second and I'm gonna demonstrate that, but let's first do it the, the normal way. I'm gonna go to the, the next. And if you want to, uh, from the handpiece, you can just click the plus button 
and it will just jump to step two. So you don't have to, again, reach back to your keyboard, click next. So now it's on step two. I'm going to carefully place this in my mouth so I don't trigger it by accident. And I'm going to just go ahead and bite quickly, hold and hold and clench until the wizard sets the sensitivity. Okay, she's happy, thumbs up. It's a good sensitivity. What I like to do, however, is after you after the sensitivity wizard sets the sensitivity, um, is to do one more test bite. I just want to confirm that I like it. Sometimes you still have to manually go back down to the, the manual sensitivity control and you have to tweak it a little bit. So just have them bite one more time. I like it. I'm seeing again the three, two to three, three to four pink. I'm in the right zone for me, my force zone um, at that sensitivity level. Okay. Um, another way to uh, evoke or set the sensitivity is by clicking, instead of clicking on the wand. And again, I mentioned that you could do everything chair side. So if you click both the plus and minus button together at the same time, it will open up the sensitivity wizard. And if you hold it too long, like I just did, it just jumped right to step two. So if I hit the minus button, it will close the sensitivity wizard. I'm gonna click both buttons together at the same time. Okay, it opens it. Then I can go ahead and go to step one, have the patient practice bite, and then hit the plus button. It will uh, advance it to step two. And then I clench and hold. What I'm gonna demonstrate now is um, like, what happens if the patient bites too slowly? Okay, so I'm just going to bite really slowly. Let's watch what the sensitivity setting does. So right now, the wizard set the sensitivity to, it looks like eight out of four, out of 14 levels, right? Um, so that's the appropriate level for me. But if I was to bite too slowly, let's watch what happens. Okay, so what happened was the sensitivity, I was biting too slowly. The wizard did not wait for me to achieve maximum force. So it set the sensitivity while I was on my way to getting uh, to maximum force, but I didn't get there. It was probably maybe a half of my total force. So the wizard thinks that I don't bite very hard. And so it set it way up and you can see where it is now. It's at 12 and 14. And so although the wizard, she's happy and I get the green light, uh, the green thumbs up, it's not appropriate. So let's see what happens. So now at 12 out of 14, let's look at the output. Way too high, okay? So that's the big catch with using sensitivity wizard is the patient really has to bite fast and hard, okay? So if they bite too slow, you're gonna get, it's, it's gonna skew, skew your results, okay? Um, Let's see what else I have for you. So let's go ahead now and um, we're gonna go over to uh, see if we have any, anybody has any questions about sensitivity. Go to my Q and A here. So give me a moment just to get to the questions. Okay. Okay, so I have a question from a, uh, a participant. Uh, do you suggest to start at medium or high sensitivity to get the best reading? So I suggest you start at medium. You always start in the middle. Typically, uh, again, uh, say level seven of 14. And typically it's gonna be a couple of clicks up or down from the middle, from medium. Okay, unless they have a really super strong bite. A patient with less tooth contacts um, may, uh, you might have to set it way, way down because if you only have a few tooth contacts, you get a high, you get higher pressures, um, and you get more concentration zones as opposed to if a patient has a good, even bite or good distribution around the arch. If it's a good distribution, then, um, the forces will tend to distribute out, uh, more evenly and you probably would set, tend to set the sensitivity higher. Okay. okay, I have a, another question. How do I install software? Okay, good question. Um, so we will help you with that. If you're a new user, um, included with your purchase is installation and we will remote in 
especially if it's a networked installation, it probably would, uh, a, a typical network installation would take anywhere from 30 to 30 minutes to an hour to complete. So if you just reach out to us or um, uh, send, you can send me a note and uh, 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 your, uh, your contact information and we'll reach out and we'll set up a, um, a meeting. Okay, and I see that Diana has uh, already answered that question. Thank you, Diana. Okay. Okay, are there any other questions? Okay, let's see. Um, Okay, I'll just wait a moment to see if anybody has any other questions for me. Okay. All right, doesn't look like there's any other questions. So I think if that's all there is for questions, I think uh, we're gonna end this session. I wanna thank everybody for joining and uh, we will be running these uh, sessions uh, approximately every two weeks, Wednesday afternoon, same time. And we'll pick a different subject. And if you have a subject that you'd like to, uh, me to discuss, please uh, send us a note and uh, we'll try to uh, include that in our, in our seminar series. Thank you.